students and even teachers came together in front of the Chico Unified School Board meeting tonight demanding all Chico schools open up in person full time. A new tonight Action News Now reporter Esteban Reynoso is live at the location of that rally. As members of the school board drove to tonight's meeting right here at Pleasant Valley behind these doors, they were met with chants and signs from parents and students to reopen schools full time in person. But that was a decision that was made already at the previous uh, board meeting. Our kids are receiving about half of the education they should be. Signs reading back to school, it's time. Kids are hurting. Parents and students wanting all schools to be open full time. And we are taxpayers. We are paying for their education. We're funding it. We're funding these facilities, our school buildings, and they're largely locked out of them. But to go back to school full time. Yeah. yeah. In eighth grade, and it's really sad because we don't know if we're going to have an eighth grade graduation or an eighth grade graduation trip. So we just really want to go back to school full time so we can like plan those things and be able to have them. So it's an important part of our life. But two weeks ago, the board decided to continue the AMPM model for the remainder of the school year, making full time in person learning impossible until the fall. Two hours is not enough no. to learn what they need to know. We need the full kids time. need full yes. time. <laughs> No, we every day on a daily basis we run out of time and the kids need to be there. They want to be there. It's for the kids. I have special needs children and they're just not getting the services and help that they should be getting and they're really behind. The board addressed student learning loss and brought several ideas forward, such as an extra period at the beginning or end of the day and providing tutoring for every student who needs it. Back to normal. Back to as normal as possible. If we take the safety precautions, mm -hmm. then we can all be working, all be going to school and be as safe as possible. I spoke to several other parents that were at the rally here earlier today, and they told me that they want to go to every board meeting to make their voices heard. Live in Chico, Esteban Reynoso for Action News Now coverage you can count on. Thank you, Esteban. Now, all of the ideas presented in tonight's meeting regarding student learning loss were meant for discussion. CARES Act dollars will fund whatever solutions the board ultimately agrees on. Well, let's get our first check of the forecast now.